Okay, so just ran out here because I was watching her on the camera and she was having a huge contraction in the middle of the barn. And I thought she was about to push a baby out, to be honest with you, so. Udder has definitely filled up overnight. She's got a nice string of fluid, but it looks like it's been there a minute. So what I'm gonna do is try to feed her, not feed her, feed everybody else really quick and kind of get them out for the day. It's about eight o'clock, a little bit early. I obviously didn't lock her up last night, but it does look like things are moving along this morning. She had a gigantic contraction a minute ago. So I'm hoping that we're here pretty close. I'm watching her tail. She's having some contractions for sure. I just don't know that she always knows what's going on until there's a baby on the ground. She's definitely not headbutting everybody this morning. I think we're gonna have some babies this morning. Not prepared. I mean, I am, but I need to like dump my SD card in and do a couple of other things. Well, let's get everybody fed really quick so they'll stay out of my hair. I put her in there. She's definitely having contractions. I can see it in her tail. The one that I saw her had, she was like laid out on her back and just completely throwing her head back. So if we're still having them that strong. They're not that, they're pretty far apart at this point. So we're gonna go feed everybody else real quick. Just get that done. After that crazy hailstorm, their bowls are probably all full of water. I guess we're gonna spend the morning watching her. It'll be fantastic if I can be there for her giving birth because I usually, like I said, I normally just totally miss her. So hopefully in the five minutes that this takes, she won't have all the baby. Well, there you go. There's your food. Well, waffles dumped their food out. So I don't know that they're gonna wanna eat it because now it's all on the ground. I swear, I need to train him not to jump in the food bowl every morning. What do you do? All right, buddies. Mom's in a hurry. know how to train goats not to jump on you because obviously none of our girls really do that. He's not even a bottle baby, which are normally the worst offenders. But the fact that he try he literally will spill the food at least once or twice a week. And that's really frustrating because sometimes it's his food, sometimes it's the pig food. And it's as he gets bigger, that's just not gonna be a, a trait that you want in a buck. We'll walk in here and she'll have had all of them. They'll be on the ground. It's just how life goes. Those little guys are doing great. We're about to have two new friends, or three. It is a little bit chillier this morning. All right, we've got this one crawling all over me. I just got her crawling all over me. Hello. Hi, Milo. Hi, Milo. How you doing back here? Got some fluid for sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna sit out here and watch her, I guess, all morning. I'll keep you guys updated. Okay. So she has laid down. I don't know that we're close necessarily, but she's laying down here making a lot of noise. I was sitting out there, but I had 11 goats in my lap. So that was not productive. So I put a little fresh layer of straw down for her just to make sure everything's nice and dry. It's just a little chilly and breezy this morning. Not too bad. I don't think the babies will have trouble or anything. <laughs> We are hanging out. This is what she's doing. <laughs> So this poor girl, the barn has been relatively calm during all of the other kiddings, but we've got some herd order reestablishment going on over here. Sorry, it's really sunny. And everybody's 
headbutting, and they've all been fighting for like the last 10 minutes, just on and off. And then I've been moving the little guys out of the way because, so now Bunny and Poppy are fighting. It was all four of these guys. We're headbutting, and, and Tink was in here mounting everybody. I need to go inside for a minute, but I'm kind of nervous to leave her because I think if I do, there'll be babies on the ground in the 10 minutes it would take me. These little dudes are having fun, getting out more today. I know. They need to give you some peace and quiet, don't they? They need some peace and quiet, Mom. So we'll see how long this takes. I think she's probably been in labor since early, early this morning. She's my doe that doesn't really follow any of the rules. She's been eating. She's finally not mad about being in here. So she just had really probably the biggest contraction that I've seen. I saw her, you know, kind of bow up and almost look like she was gonna push. Not quite, but really close. It's about 9.15, I got out here about maybe 8.15, 8.30. It's been about an hour since I saw that other really big contraction that she had. But she's really chill, chewing her cud. Uh, I'm interested to see how far apart these are gonna be if we get another real big one ripped off here. Mainly this is what she's doing. Nani's over there knocking the temperature gauge off the wall. Let's see, here's another one. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting close. All right, girlfriend, let's get ready to go. You got it! 
we got head out, man. They're just three. That was probably the smoothest. It's gone. Where are you guys going? is having a snack. We're gonna have to keep a little eye on our little girl just because with three and her being much smaller than the two boys, she's normal size for a doe link. Like she's not small, but they're definitely bigger than she is. And she's not 
quite up on her feet as well, but I have made sure to hold her up so that she could get something to drink. So they've all got full bellies. You eat your food, they're fine. Come here, Twiz. Hey, Twiz, come eat some food. Yeah, eat that green, they're okay. But everybody seems healthy and strong. These little guys are doing great. Mama goat's doing good. Yeah. So these are the two boys. And then this is the little girl. Poppy's boys are out for the very first time. They're here. I think she's happy because she's been standing here yelling at them. I think it's nice for her to be out. Twiz is doing well. She's eating a lot of food, which is great. I filled her food up twice. Everybody seems to have gotten up and, and gotten some food. Twiz lost her placenta, she cleaned it up. She's doing great. She's such a good mom. to just fed them because nobody seems hungry. They all look exactly alike, which is really funny. So this is the little girl. Oh, I know, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so they all have black legs and uh, the little white face, little frosted ears. Hi, did you fog the camera up? Thank you. I'm trying to, trying to show to people what your babies look like and you're fogging the camera up. Here, yeah, let's look at this one. Just like uh, Chamoisee, like uh, Zelda is with the black stripe and the socks. And they have black bellies with white spots. And then they all have white spots on their sides, kind of different patterns. Oh, I know, you're so big. And this is this one's face. I know. And they have little frosted ears. You look just like Huckleberry did last year. So apparently this is the only color combination we're gonna get out of you and Luke, is just this, huh? This is a little girl, and so she doesn't have white spots. She's just straight brown, but she has kind of uh, this interesting kind of white on her face that um, the boys do, and then little frosted ears. They're very cute. This is the other boy. It looks just the exact same. Different kind of white spots on his side. Same face. He has a little bit more black on his nose. Not as much white. But he does have a black belly with white spots. I know. And they're all really loud. Like they have been talking all day long and yelling and screaming. They all seem to be doing really well. Probably see the difference in size. To have two sets of triplets this year is pretty amazing. For her to have all three lives, for none of them to be too big or too small, it's great. You did a good job, Mama Goat. dinner at Denny's. It's my favorite on Sunday nights to go have breakfast at Denny's. They have really good French toast and nobody's at Denny's on a Sunday night. So it means that you have basically the whole restaurant to yourself. Hello, is everybody ready for dinner? And they've been doing this all day. So let's get everybody fed. I'm tired.
Okay, so just standing here watching Twiz's babies eat. And our little girl got her a full, full stop at the milk bar. Just keeping an eye on her. All our babies are on the ground. I'm so excited just to be done and everybody seems to be doing well. Moms are all doing well. I'm excited to really get in the swing of milking. Look at these little snuggles. Look at your little snugglies. Mom needs to bring you some food too. There you guys 